It's a project that's taken on many forms over the years, and now, after almost three decades, it's finally a reality. A new visitor center is opening its doors to Albuquerque visitors and locals in just a few days. And our Tamara Lopez got an exclusive first look. So, Tamara, there's been a lot of buzz around the new Route 66 visitor center. Yeah, Julie Tessa, that's absolutely right. And this project really has been in the works for such a long time. And now people are getting ready to celebrate this project that's for the community built by the community. It's a long time vision, so it feels like a dream come true. City Councilor Clarissa Pena is not the only one who feels this way about the new Route 66 Visitor Center. County Commissioner Stephen Michael Casada says the entire West Side community has been working on getting the doors open for decades. And so the community had come together that many years ago and saying, we got to get people off the freeway. We got to get them off the freeway onto Central Avenue in order to have any shot of any kind of development. And so their vision was to have a visitor center. But it's not going to be a place to just grab a pamphlet and go. Quesada says that the new visitor center will have a tap room, a museum, and an event space. And just like the rest of the world, the project was put on hold during the pandemic. Uh, I think we all drove by every two months just to see what's happening, see where they're at. Um, and yeah, COVID slowed a lot of things down, but we survived it just like the rest of this community survived COVID. But after 29 years, not even a pandemic could stop the project. And it's not just for visitors to the Duke City. It was about getting people to come to this area of town and visit and see what we all see and love and appreciate it and, uh, and appreciate. And as you can see from the spectacular views here. Pena says residents in the neighborhood have been surveyed for years and the consensus is a big yes to the project. And finally, the visitor center will have its ribbon cutting ceremony on Friday. But people and residents of the west side, southwest side, always knew that this is something needed and avoid in our community. So this is um, this is our place. The ribbon cutting starts at 3 p.m. on Friday, and there's going to be live music, including Al Hurricane Jr. So, for more information, including important info on the parking going to be happening there, head to our website, kob.com, and click on this story. Back to you guys. Really is perfect timing. All right, Tamara, thanks so much.